Cyber Ninja Online guys, and we're back here today with more Magic Duels. This is actually a newer interface here. This is my first ever like coming back on after the updated with the expansion and all that, so I have no idea what to expect. I've been talking to my friend and he said it was pretty cool and all that, so let's click the start here. Um, maybe they have cool music. I don't know if I should turn the music on or not. I'm gonna leave the music off for now. If they do have cool music and uh, I think about it, then I'll put it back in. So the battle for Zendikar has begun. Join the battle, complete the... Uh, Alright, let's slow it down a little bit. Join the battle. Complete the battle for Zendikar story to unlock exciting new cards and archetypes. Or visit the store and exchange your coins for Battle of Zendikar boosters. New set of boosters have been added to the store. I currently had all the uh, boosters, by the way. A new season begins. Congratulations, you reached rank 3 in the Origin season. A new season has begun. What rank will you earn in the Battle for Zendikar season? By the way, that's like rank for the... um. Oh, wow. They all change now. That's helpful. Because I had the doing some quests uh, videos. Anyways, though. um, That rank 3... I had earned because I was trying to do one of these multiplayer duels like contribute to it and I wanted to see if it was not glitched or something because it was like zero out of whatever the number was and it was like a re really easy thing so I tried a couple and that's why I ranked up. I never ended up doing the road to rank 40. Kind of disappointed about that but at the same time it's whatever. So um, hmm. looks pretty cool I'm not gonna lie. Can I go card collection real quick? Let's see if it shows us the new cards. I'm just going to skim through them real quick. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with looking at every new card and whatnot. I'm going to do some booster openings. I'll probably play a game and then uh, that'll be it for this video. I will record the campaign, but I'll do it uh, off screen. Well, sorry, not off screen. I'll do it on another video. Derp. Uh, can I... Let's just exclusive Zendikar. Is there anything cool here? When Angel of Renewal enters the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature you control. That's pretty cool. Any new Planeswalker? There's this one. Gideon. Alley of Zendikar. That's not bad. What else we got here? Uh, what about this? In incubator Drone. The void. This card has no color. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a blue card. Um, when incubator drone enters. Yeah, I heard this um expansion was like really Eldrazi heavy, so we'll see if we can find any of those. This one looks cool. Alter's Reap. As an additional cost to cast Alter's Reap, sacrifice creature, draw two cards. That's kind of shitty. Good for a sacking deck, I guess. But here's a new planeswalker here. Ob Nixel Nix. Nicholas, Ob Nicholas, Reig reignited. Derp, I, can't, I can't read. I swear I'm dyslexic. Draw a card and you lose one life. Destroy target creature. Target a player. Uh, target opponent gets an emblem with whenever your player draws a card, you lose two life. That's not bad. Did I miss the? Uh, there wasn't like another planeswalker back here. I missed, did I? No, I don't see it. So they don't have a planeswalker for every uh, every mana type now. Well, with this new expansion, anyways. Like a new one. Anyways, though, is that it? Oh shit. Where was I? Right here. Let's see if we see anything else cool. Another. There's an, an Eldrazi right there. Wasteland Strug uh, Strange Strangler. What did I tell you? I'm dyslexic as fuck. Uh, into this battlefield, you may put a card on an opponent's uh, own. An opponent owns from an exile into the uh, player's graveyard. If you do, target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. That's not bad. I'm gonna just fast forward through this little scheme, uh, skimming here. See if there's anything else nice I can see off top. Void attendant. There's another Aljazi. Uh, another planeswalker right here. Cora, master of de depths. That's not bad. Oh, hold up the phone. What was that? Elemental legendary creature. That's not bad. New lands too. That's kind of cool. Were they all locked like that or just those ones? Does that mean I can't? 
Oh yeah, I can buy it. Alright, so what we'll do here, I have 645 coins, so we'll hit the store. Um, buy a battle of Zendikar booster to unlock new cards for your starter box and new archetypes in the deck wizard. We're gonna buy some, uh, cause I don't have any magic origins, I wonder if it lets me select anyways. No, I can't even, oh yeah, I can. But yeah, see, I, I have all the magic or, or origin cards, so let's go for battle of Zendikar here. We'll buy as many packs as we can, we'll open them up, do it right now. Uh, let's confirm the purchase there. That's all the gold I just had ranked up over the little while there. Alright, so let's uh, open this booster. See if I get anything exciting. This might just be a an open... Yeah, I might just do an opening, actually. Alright, what do we get here? I'm not re reading the titles, by the way. I'm dyslexic, bleh, dyslexic as hell, and apparently I can't talk either. That's great. Uh, Vampire Cleric Alley. That's not bad. Goblin War Paint. Hmm. Plummet. Fire Mantle Mage. I say I'm not going to read the title as I read the title. There's uh, Aljazzy right here. Cryptic Cruiser. Were they all Aljazzy? Nope, just that one. And my rare here was an artifact. A Lion Hedron Network. When a Lion Hedron Network enters the battlefield, exile all creatures with power 5 or greater until this card leaves the battlefield. That's pretty powerful, actually. Next booster. Let's open her up. I get what I get. Hmm. Fortified Rampart Defender. That's a pretty strong defender, actually. Valkurt Invoker. Three damage to target creature player. That's not bad. Blood Hunter Worm. Uh, a land. You gain two life for each creature you control. Eh. It's like a last resort thing. There's that uh, angel we were looking at, anyways. Some third eye shit right there. And we got another land. Unless you control two or more basic lands. That's not that great. Let's go ahead and buy two more packs here. And then, uh... Should I do another quick? I might do another quick. Ooh, there we go. Archetype unlocked. Allies. Overwhelm your opponent with an ever-growing army of allies. Uh, processors. Manipulate your opponent resources to give, uh... You the tool to take them... Tools to take over the game with powerful enter the battlefield effects. That's not bad. Let's buy another two here, and that'll be it for all the openings as of right now. I'm not gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna show you every pack I open. Well, nah. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you every pack I open, but I'll show you my first four right now at least. Let's see if I pull anything good here. That looks kind of cool. Core Castigator can't be blocked. That looks good. Stone Haven Medic gain one life. Nettle Drone, this card looks good. Deals one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast a color of spell, untap Nettle Drone. Wow. That's not bad, actually. Slab Hammer. Actually, you know what? Yo. If I threw that into my artifact deck, that would be OP as fuck. Damn. Slab Hammer. Uh, whenever equipped creature attacks, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. If you do, the creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's not bad. Uh, core Entanglers. Whenever uh, Core Entanglers and another alley enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creature. What is this one? Veteran War Leader. Veteran War Leader's power and toughness are equal to, each equal to the number of creatures you control. Tap another untapped alley you control. Veteran War Leader gains your choice of First Strike, Vigilance, or Trample. That's pretty decent, actually. Fuck. Alright, last pack here. Let's see. You gotta pull something good here. Come on. All the luck in the world right here. It's fucking Aldrazi right there. That's this is looking like a good pack. Clutch of currents. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Awaken. If you cast a spell for four or five mana, also put three plus one plus one counters on target land you control, and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. That's pretty badass, actually. Tajuro Stalwart. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Converge. Uh, stalwart enters the battlefield with plus one with plus one counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. That's not bad. Here's our first Eldrazi from this pack. Well, like pure Eldrazi. Trample 8 9. That's pretty decent. Mus Marissa. Marissa. Ranger. Oh, I, fuck. I feel like I'm trying to like speak in a different language. So stupid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters. That's not bad. This one looks cool. Vile. Aggregate. The Void. 
All aggregate power is equal to the number of colorless creatures you control, tample, uh, trample, and ingest. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player excels the top card of his or her library. That's fuck. If I ran red, I could totally throw that into my mill deck. What's this one? Gull Draz Overseer. Flying landfill when a land enters the battle under your control. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one zero or plus one plus zero until end of turn. That uh, land is a swamp. These creatures get plus two plus zero instead. That's pretty wow. I'm happy about that last pack though. That was a great pack. Actually, I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm not gonna play a game. Um, I'll definitely be jumping into story mode real soon. Let's see. Oh yeah, they have the whole. I don't want to click it though in case there's a cutscene. Anyways, I'll be jumping into that real soon. So be on the lookout for more content. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that fun stuff. Anyways, guys, I'll call this a video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.